This conference will now be recorded. Chaturmukha Samarambham Vagbhada Jairya Madhyamam Asmada Jairya Pariyandam Vande Guru Parambaram Ragadi Rogan Sadadanu Shaktan Ashesha Kaya Prasradan Asheshan Aul Sukya Moha Aradidan Jakana Yoburva Vaidyaya Namos to the Smay So once again back in Sneha Viti. So we were seeing the three types of Snehana in our last session. That is <coughs> Shodhana or which is something like a Shodhana Purva, Snehana, then Shamana and then Brahmana. Regarding the Shodhana Purva, Snehapana or Snehana, we saw that uh, peculiar style in which the Sneha is to be administered. Shastane, Jirna eva ne, Shastane, Jirne eva anne, Snehocha, Shuthaye, Bahu. Bahu, Bahu means. Uh, Bahu literally means a, a quantity which is non specific. <laughs> but here, a huge quantity, a big amount, that is the word meaning. But here, we should take it as the <laughs> Uttama Matra. Uttama Matra. Because in the following uh, textual descriptions, we will find it as uh, the Madhyama Matra and Hraswa Matra. So here the Bahu automatically represents the Uttama Matra. So, Hyasthane Jirne Eva Anne Snehaha Achaha Shuddhaye Bahu Hyasthane Hastana Hyasthaha means belonging to yesterday or something which occurred yesterday, the previous day. So, here what is what is the incident that occurred in the, in the previous day? It is about the Anna. So, Hyasthane Anne Jirne Eva. Hyasthane Anne Jirne Eva. So, that is a very highly specific uh, suggestion. I do not know whether uh, we are giving due importance to these sort of comments which uh, carries a <coughs> big amount of precision or a big deal of precision in it. That Eva in this line that means Hyasthane Anne Jirne Eva. That Eva gives a lot of stress to that particular situation. Jirne Eva. <coughs> the importance we will understand when we find the uh, next uh, Sneha Prayoga. So here we find, just find that uh, Jirne Eva 
at that time when the the anna which is taken hyasthana the previous day jirne eva just completed its jaranam just completed its jaranam jirne eva so it is nothing more or nothing less not before not after that is the stress given by eva hyasthane jirne eva anne shuddhaye bahu snehaha shasyate bahu snehaha shasyate then we will come to i think that point we can discuss for some time if the time uh, permits we will look into it then regarding the shamana sneha we find shamanaha shuddhvataha anannaha shamanaha shuddhvado nanno madhya matrascha shasyate shamana shuddhvado nannaha madhya matrascha shasyate so shamanaha snehaha shamanaha snehaha achaha that achaha which is given in the previous shloka bhaga if it is not modified here also we should take it as achaha <coughs> so uh, shuddhvataha shuddhvataha shuddwan shuddwan means somebody who is having chut bubhuksha somebody who is having bubhuksha hunger chut so here in the shamana sneha prayoga anannaha anannaha means without annam so that without annam can be seen to accommodate the concept or the idea of acha so shamanaha shuddhvataha anannaha madhyamatraha cha madhyamatraha cha 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 is a uh, special usage there cha also cha means that also this one also so madhyamatraha cha shasyade means the previous matra can also be used if the situation demands and the vaidya is uh, uh, ready and uh, the vyadhidha vyadhitaha and vyadhya avastha are uh, suitable in the shamana matra also shamana matra also you can use the bahu matra that is madhya matra hacha shasyate so here the most fashionable or most accepted way of administration is madhya matra and it is given anannaha at the time when shuddhvataha when the individual the subject is having bubhuksha so that is the way in which shamana sneha is done so two things number 1 we find shuddhaye for shodhana chikitsa bahu achaha hyastane anne jirne eva so you can ask a question what is the difference between a stage where the ahara is jerita completed its digestion 
so when one meal is digested obviously the person should be hungry so what is the difference between the hyastane jirne eva anne and shudvataha is there any difference if yes what are they please tell me so such a question can be there which is an interesting question before coming to that we will see the next matra as well <laughs> that is the brahmana matra brahmano rasamadhyadhyehi sabhaktaha alpaha brahmano rasamadhyadhyehi sabhaktaha alpaha so for a brahmana prayoga Brahmanam is also a Shamana Prayoga, but it becomes a Shamana Prayoga in a specific situation. Brahmano, Brahmana, Shamanam Tueva, Brahmanam, Shamanam Tueva, Vayoho, Pitanilasyacha. So it is generally a Shamana Prayoga, but in a very specific situation. What is that specificity? Brahmanam, Shamanam Tueva, Vayoho. So, in such a situation, when your plan is to give a Brahmana Sneha Prayoga, Rasamadhyadhyaihi Saha. Rasamadhyadhyaihi Saha. So, here it is given along with, sometimes it can be taken together, sometimes it can be taken mixed with food. Sabhaktaha. Rasamadhyadhyaihi Sabhaktaha. So that Sabhaktatvam shows that this one is also taken when the individual is having Bubhuksha. Because it is when we have Bubhuksha that we take Annam. <coughs> so when it is sabhaktam, it is very clear that it is given as a, in a state of shuddhvataha. Uh, and here the matra is specified as alpaha. Sabhaktaha alpaha cha. Brahmano rasamadhyā dehi sabhakto alpaha. Now we will go back to our previous question. So we find two situations where the sneha is given when the individual is having bubhuksha. And the other situation is explained in a <coughs> peculiar manner that hyasthane uh, anne jirne eva. Now we have to understand what is the difference because this this is the uh, core idea which separates the different types of snehapana some maybe 10 12 years back i think i conducted a survey among practicing vaidyas the purpose of the survey was very simple survey asked the vaidyas do you use the the procedure called snehapana in your treatment then uh, how the same sneha for example tiktaka kritam how Tiktaka Khritam can be used for Shamanam and Shodhanam alike. The same Tiktaka Khritam, how can it be given for the purpose of Shamanam and for the purpose of uh, Shodhana as well alike. 
So I think some 100 plus Vaidyas responded to the survey. And very interestingly, most of the Vaidyas specified or opined, I should say, that it is possible when you increase the dose of the medicine. For <clears throat> that is, if you have to go for a Shamana Prayoga, you can use a smaller dose. And if you want to go for a Shodhana Chikitsa, you have to use a huge quantity. And uh, I had asked them how much quantity you have used the highest in your practice of Snehapana. Then I got very interesting uh, responses like uh, 300 ml, 400 ml, 600 ml, like that. <laughs> but there is a problem with me, I think for me at least, in those answers. And uh, that problem was about the way in which the Sneha is used is not considered. It is not about the matra of the Sneha alone. That is why we find uh, Shastane jirna evanne sneho accha shuddha evahu samanak shuddha do ananaha madhya matrascha sasyade. That cha told, uh, told that you can use bahu uttama matra also for samana jigilsa. Madhya matrascha sasyade. So it, was, it is very clear that it is not just about the matra but there is something else and that something else is the way in which the sneha is administered and that is where this uh, uh, kalam of sneha prayogam is becoming very very important in shamana sneha pana it is shamana chudvataha and in shodhana sneha pana it is Hyastane jirne eva anne. So we have to understand what is the difference between these two kalas. You see, for understanding this, which is, uh, we all, we all are quite proud of the concept of Shodhana Chikitsa or Panchakarma, which is so unique with Ayurveda. Maybe I think in the entire world, no other system may be claiming such a beautiful or a wonderful and awesome procedure like Panchakarma. So we should be able to do it properly. So we have to understand these explanations uh, properly. So we have to understand how these concepts are different. Sneha or like any other ahara, once taken in, comes with the, the contact of uh, Agni and there is a interaction between them. Here we find Hestane Jirna Eva Anne. It is not about Sneha but about Anna. So when an individual consumes an ahara, anna. Agni is the factor which <coughs> brings about its jaranam, pajanam. But the pajanam at the level of agni is not the end of the all the pajana prakriya. Definitely, Agni is the most important principle behind the act of Jaranam or Pajanam. But the, the complete process of Pajanam 
is not completed by Agni alone. This is an important point. Agni definitely is the team leader and he leads the show. But once the Agni Pajanam is over, there are some more things which are to be done or taken place in the Koshta. <coughs> when we look at the uh, duties of Pachakapitta and Samana Vayu, Sometimes some idea you may get. Panjabhūdātma gattvevi yattaija sa gunodayāda tetta dhravatvam pāgādi karmanā nala shabdhidam pachatyannam vibhajade sārakittau prathak tathā. So one uh, dharmam which the same Pāchakapitta is doing after the completion of jaranam pajatyannam then vibhajade sarakittau prathak that is very important then coming to the dharma of samana vayu samano gisamipasthaha koshthe charadi sarvataha annam grunhadi pajati vivejayati Munchati Annam Grunhadi Pachati Vivejayati Munchati. So Samana has got certain important duties to do as a continuation of the Jarana Prakriya that uh, uh, Vivejayati Munchati. So these things are also to be completed to make the that uh, battlefield clean and clear. Then in between something else is also going to happen. What is that? From the Amashaya, the Aharasara which is further processed to become the Rasadhadu is to be carried away to the Hridaya by the help of Vyana Vayu, isn't it? Vyanena Rasadhadu Ruhi. So, uh, it need not be Vyana Vayu alone. There can be the, the influence of Samana Vayu in it. But in any case, the Rasadhadu which is formed should be taken away, should be carried away from the Amashaya. So if that is not happening and if the preparatory transformations prior to this carry away procedure is not happening, the Rasadhadu may get stagnated in the Amashaya causing the formation of Amma. Dushtam amashaya gadam rasam amam prachakshade. So that should not happen. So it should be carried away. But Agni as such is not getting involved in it. So even if the Agni Pajana is completed by the hero of the show, that means the Agni, still the team is not resting. The team Agni is not taking rest. They still operate to make the entire process clean and clear. So during that uh, time when the subordinates are working, Agni will be resting. Agni will be resting. But by that time, the Ahara Pajana is over. But as Agni is resting and uh, the uh, Vivechayati, Munjadi type of uh, Samana Karma, then clearing away of the Rasadhadu, all these things are not 
completed the field is not set for the next show it is something like a, a maybe a cinema theater after one show is getting ready getting cleaned before the next show so before the next ahara kala that means before the onset of next episode of bubhuksha there is an intermediate stage between that point and the point at which the dahanam the pachanam or the jaranam of the anna is over and that phase is not suitable for uh, intake of anything this is very very important understanding as far as the uh, agni dharma or the modus operandi of the koshta grahani vayu all these things are concerned <laughs> so this is where the entire process is becoming so unique as far as the shodhana anga sneha panam is concerned sneha panam is done when that ahara pachanam is not over sorry is over but anna kala has not achieved so there is no bubhuksha this is very very important and it is through this peculiar type of administration where sneha is appointed with a peculiar highly peculiar mission of getting into the system untouched by jadhar agni getting into the system untouched by jadhar agni is the most essential component of bringing about utklesham if this idea is not put into proper practice you will not get utklesham this is very very important so that is why in the shodhananga sneha pana we find that specification hyastane jirne eva anne sneha achha shuddhaye bahu this is very important because in shodhananga sneha panam the sneha what you use is not meant for any sort of uh, <coughs> building of dhadus or repairing of dhadus or anything of that sort it is exclusively for a different purpose its aim is to bring about utkledana and utkleshana utkledana and utkleshana of the doshas thus extracting them from the srotas and facilitate proper shodhana it is not meant for concepts like vruddhi samanai sarvesham viparide viparyaha it is not meant for the duty of shamana na shodhayadi yad doshan samanno udirayatyabi samikarodi vishaman shamanam tad so this shodhananga sneha pana is not at all intended for bringing about shamana but in the case of shamana shamana sneha pana 
the scene is entirely different. Here, the purpose is to work based on the Samanya Vishesha Chikitsa Siddhanta. That means, Vrithi Samana Isarvesha Viparita Vipatyeha. So here, you have specific intentions. Na Shodhaya Diyad Dukshan Saman No Dhirayatyabhi Samigaro Dibishaman Shamanam Tad This is our intention for which the Sneha is to be properly uh, cooked and uh, uh, properly taken into the system like any other material which is getting processed in Agni and uh, thus facilitating Dosha Samyam and uh, Roga Shamanam. So in that case, you cannot try giving Sneha as long as the individual has not developed Chut or Mubhuksha. This is very important. So you can say technically that the Matra is important, but much more important is the way in which it is administered with reference to that uh, uh, Kala, with reference to Kala. This is very, very important as far as this uh, concept of Snehana is concerned. I hope you got the idea. Coming to the Brumhana, which is nothing but a modified or a glorified shamana so in that case also you have no excuse but you are uh, uh, focusing more on the nourishing of dhadu in shamana it is about the shamana of the dosha whereas in brahmana it should bring about shamana of dosha but more than that it should bring about the portion of the thadus. That is why it is given along with ahara. Brahmano rasamadhyadhihi sabhaktaha. Sabhaktaha. So now we have a clear idea about why we have three types of administration of sneha that called the shodhana and the shamana and brahmana and how do they differ from one another. This is very, very important. Now we will move further forward. We have seen that Brahmano Rasamadhyadhyayi Sabhaktaha Alpaha. Then, when we deal with that particular Brahmana Snehana, the author uh, is trying to give some more explanation about the Brumhana Snehapana. What is that? <clears throat> Hita Satcha Bala Vritha Pipasartha Snehadvin Madhya Shilishu Stri Sneha Nitya Mandagni Sukhita Klesha Bhirushu Mrudu Koshta Alpadosheshu Kale Choshne Krsheshu Cha. I will read once again. Hita Sacha Bala Vridha Pipasartha Snehadvid Madhya Shilishu Stri Sneha Nitya Mandagni Shudhita Sorry, Sukhita Klesha Bhirushu Mrudu Koshta Alpadosheshu Kale Choshne Kale Cha Ushne Krsheshu Cha. So these are specific areas like Bala, Vridha. So sometimes clinical situations may come. 
where the vyadhyavastha or the uh, kala vyadhyavastha is also a kala the kala demands snehana but multiple things multiple principles uh, stand against the act or the procedure of sneha the kala demands sneha but there are many hindrances we have seen such situations in the arhan arhata certain examples are given here balyam balam in a particular situation where uh, a bala needs snehana but there are certain constraints or certain obstacles like uh, the kalam is uh, kabha predominant and uh, generally i think sometimes the agni may not be that strong enough so it is a bit tough situation how to give how much to give all these things are puzzling questions then as long as the situation demands snehana you go for a brahmana snehana bala is included same is the case with vrtha pipasartha pipasa is trishna trishna we have seen that it is contraindicated for snehana but a situation comes where we have to do snehana but there is presence of trishna then what can you do you do brahmana snehana pipasartha sneha dvit somebody who uh, does not like or prefer somebody who does not prefer sneha sneho upayoga because there is an element of disgust hates the person hates taking uh, uh, sneha then you go for rasamadhyadhyai sabhaktah sneha pana in alpa matra that is brahmana matra sneha dvin madhya shilishu somebody who is uh, used to madhya then in such a situation maybe a clinical situation or because of the thadukshaya you want to bring some brahmana then you go for a sabhakta prayoga of sneha in alpa matra which is otherwise known as the brahmana sneha prayoga similarly you should understand each and every situation stri nitya sneha nitya you see sneha dvit has come sneha nitya also in sneha nitya i think if you go for a samana matra or a brahmana sorry shodhana matra you have to have some sort of a preparatory things and in this situation where he needs a, a treatment where sneha is to be used and he is very much familiar with the sneha you go for a mrudu alpa matra in sabhakta prayoga mandagni slowly you may try giving this sort of sabhakta sneha prayoga it will touch its target in multiple ways then sukhitaha because the usage and its follow up is not that challenging as it is in the case of uh, either shamana shamana sneha pana or shodhana sneha pana sukhitaha klesha bhiru klesha bhiru and the sukhita does not make much a difference between them because in both cases the intolerance towards even minor uh, strains stress and sufferings is the common thread between them mrudu koshtha mrudu koshtha da high quantity of sneha may worsen the situation of mrudu koshtha alpa dosham there is only very low grade or mild uh, amount of dosha kopa 
then you need not go for a very elaborate sneha prayoga but this uh, brahmana matra will be sufficient same is the case with the ushne kale krisheshu in all these situations you can go for brahmana sneha bana so brahmano rasam adhyadhyaihi sabhaktvalpa hita sacha bala vruddha pipasartha स्नेहद्विन मध्यशीलिशु स्त्री स्नेह नित्य मंदाग्नि सुखित क्लेश भीरुषु मृदु कोष्ठाल्प दोषेशु काले चोष्णे कृषेशु च इन ऑल दिस सिचुएशंस यू कैन ऑप्ट फॉर ब्रह्मण स्नेह पान देन अनदर यूनिक ऑब्जर्वेशन अबाउट द यूसेज ऑफ स्नेह व्हाट इज दैट प्रांग मध्योत्तर भक् तो साव अधो मध्योर्ध्व समश्रयान और अधो मध्योर्ध्व देहजान व्याधीन जेद बलम कुर्या दंगा नामच यथाक्रमम व्याधीन जेद बलम कुर्या दंगा नामच यथाक्रमम We will read it once again. प्राण मध्योत्तर भक्ता प्रांग मध्योत्तर भक्ता असाउ अधो मध्योर्ध्व देहजान व्याधीन जेयद बलम कुल्याद अंगानाम च यथाक्रमम यथाक्रमम अंगानाम बलम कुल्याद च यथाक्रमम प्रांग भक मध्य भक्त अधो भक्त स्नेह प्रयोग प्रागभक्त प्रागभक्त मीन जस्ट बिफोर ए मील आहार मध्य भक्त टेकिंग और कंस्यूमिंग द स्नेह हाफ वे थ्रू ए मील Uttara, Uttara Bhaktam means taking, consuming the uh, Khrita after a meal. Prang Madhya Uttara Bhaktaha. Prang Bhaktaha Madhya Bhaktaha Uttara Bhaktaha Asau. Asau means the Sneha, Sneha Prayoga. Atho Madhya Urdhva Deha Jan. यथाक्रम अधो मध्योर्ध्व देहजा अधो देहजा मध्य देहजा ऊर्ध्व देहजा दट इज यथाक्रम सो दट मीन प्राभक्त अधो देहजा मध्य भक्त मध्य देहजा उत्तर भक्त ऊर्ध्व देहजा व्याधीन जयेद व्याधीन जयेद सो इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन वॉट इज दैट प्राग भक्त स्नेह अधो देहजा व्याधीन जयेद मध्य भक्त स्नेह मध्य देहजा व्याधीन जेद उत्तर भक्त स्नेह ऊर्ध्व देहजा व्याधीन जेद नॉट कंप्लीट सम एक्स्ट्रा ऑब्सर्वेशन इज ऑलसो डॉक्यूमेंटेड व्हाट इज दैट बलम कुर्याद अंगाक्रम अंगानाम बलम कुर्याद चा हियर दैट अंगानाम दैट आल्सो शुड बी स्पेसिफाइड बाय दैट अधो मध्य उर्ध्व देहजन सो अधो मध्य उर्ध्व देहजनाम अंगानाम बलम कुर्याद चा सो व्याधीन जयेद बलम कुर्याद चा फॉर दैट बॉडी इज गेटिंग 
divided into three zones that means adhakayam madhyakayam and urdhvakayam so it may be something like below the nabhi including both the lower limbs then between the hridayam and nabhi that is the madhyakayam above the level of hridayam that is urdhvakayam sometimes technically more specific explanation for urdhvakayam can be that uh, jatrutva jatrutva in any case i think the idea is more important than the exact word translation so here we find that which i think the sometimes uh, uh, you may not be able you, you may not be able to find an exact uh, simile for this idea in the western medical textbooks here it is observed and documented that if you consume sneha pana or sneha in general just before a meal you can expect this particular aushadha which you consume just before a meal maybe in the morning is getting driven towards adho deham be below the level of nabhi and works there to contain and heal the vyadhi which has set in in that particular uh, 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 deha bhaga similarly madhya bhakta uh, sneha prayoga will be working on the particular territory of sharira madhya and uh, medicine taken after a meal is driven towards the jatrudva is driven towards the jatrudva and uh, in swastha vrutta maybe or in uh, uh, the uh, that uh, apunarbhava chikitsa you can uh, use this concept in a different way also that is balam guryad anganam here also that uh, adho madhyurth dehajam that idea is very important so we find it here as prang madhyottar bhakto sa adho madhyurth dehajan vyadhin jayet balam kuryad anganam cha yathakrama now next we will start uh, we may not be able to complete it but we will read those four lines varyushna machenu pibed snehe tal sukha paktaye asyopaleva shuddhi cha tavvararushkare नतु जीर्णाजीर्ण विशंकायां पुनरुष्णोदगं पिबेद तेनोद्गार विशुद्धि स्याद ततश्च लघुता रुचि एंड रीड इट वंस अगेन वार्युष्णम अच्छे नु पिबेद स्नेहे तल सुख पक्तये आस्योपलेव शुद्धि इच वारी उष्णम उष्णम वारी वारी जलम अच्छे इन अच्छा स्नेहा दैट मींस दैट स्नेहा इज यूज्ड एस सच नॉट एस ए विचारणा अनु पिबेद उष्णम वारी अच्छे स्नेहे अनु पिबेद अनु फॉलोइंग ए पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो हियर following the sneha uh, pana ushnam vari anu pibed what is the purpose of it tal sukha paktaye so that will help in the sukha pajanam easy pajanam of 
the sneha, then asyoba neva sudhecha. Sneha will cause asyoba lebam. That asyoba lebam will be cleaned by this ushnam vari, ushna jala panam. Asyoba leva shuddhecha. So for meeting these two purposes, that means sukha pajanam, asyoba leva shodhanam. For these two purposes, acche snehe anu ushnam vari pibed. That is an advice. But this advice should not be followed tavvara arushkare when you are using tuvaraka tailam or arushkara tailam. Tavvara arushkare natu. Need not to say that this advice of consuming ushna jalam after the consumption of sneha should not be done, should not be practiced if the sneha consumed is either tuvaragataila or arushkarataila. Tavvar arushkare na tu. You may be knowing or you should know, you should keep always in your mind. This is very important. All these things are Included in that tu. Tavvara arushkare na tu. Then, so those two situations are given as exceptions. Now, two more lines. Jirna ajirna vishangayam punarushno dagam pived teno gara vishuddhisyad. Jirna ajirna vishangayam after the consumption, waiting for some time about something about the time gap which is envisaged that we have seen earlier in our session last week and uh, here jirna jirna vishangayam somebody is waiting for the sneha to get jirna but there is a doubt some features indicate that there is sneha pachana but some of the indication some of the features are quite uh, contradicting so there is a shanga. Jirna jirna vishangaya. How to manage? Punar ushnodagam piveda. Give him or that her some more punaha. Some more ushna jala. Punah ushnodagam piveda. What is the advantage of such a trial, such an experiment? Tena ugara vishuddhi syad. Tena udgara vishuddhi syad. Tena, by means of that uh, ushnodagam, you can achieve udgara vishuddhi syad. But I would like to modify it in a way that you can perceive, you can understand whether there is udgara vishuddhi or not. Tena udgara vishuddhi syad. But here, the author mentions it that with that Ushnodagam in that uh, Shanga Jirna Jirna Vishanga Sandhi at that Sandhi this Ushnodagam will make sure that even if it's, it's little bit delayed that will be uh, speed, I mean, uh, uh, made faster and uh, you can ensure that there is Udgara should be achieved, then the sort of uh, uh, that Tatascha, uh, uh, Tatascha, Tripti, a stage of Tripti, Lekhuta, Lekhuta, that means a, a sort of a Lekhutvam, uh, Lekhutvam is about the subjective feeling subjective feeling of lightness <clears throat> first you get that uh, udgara visuddhi then udgara visuddhi syad then tataha lakhuda 
यू गेट लघुत्व देन रुचि ही सो दीज आर ऑल वैलिड एंड इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्नेह जरण कंप्लीटिंग द स्नेह जरण so look for these symptoms or these features as uh, clinically important features teno udgara vishuddhi syad tatascha after that lekhuta ruchi lekhuta ruchi this also can be expected with that i think we will conclude i think we have one or two questions in the chat box <coughs> one is in shodhanartha snehavana when the sneha given is jeerna anna kala where the anna pachana just completed but the anna rasa is not completely taken in in this condition does the sneha travels along with the anna rasa sneha actually interestingly this uh, sneha and uh, madhya basically i think later onwards there are many other uh, synthetic compounds as well which do not require the medium of anarasa to travel sneha and madhya in the in the later periods in ayurveda itself we came up with many rasaushadhis which do not wait for the help of anarasa to spread across then in modern times there are many chemical drugs not many most of them which do not wait for the anarasa to travel across or spread across the sharira so here also the sneha does not need that sort of a uh, anarasa as its vehicle in shodhana purva sneha pana then next question is ushna jala anupana helps in sukha pachana of sneha but in shodhana artha sneha pana our purpose is not to make sneha pachana very good then ushna jala pana does it not contradict our purpose that is also a very good question <coughs> uh as i mentioned earlier that uh, sneha prayoga in uh, shodhananga sneha pana is something like an attack on agni <coughs> attack an agent which is on rest and uh, bypass it to get into the system but in due course of time this agni will wake up it will fight back and come back to its position and it will uh, work on the sneha again it is only up to that particular stage that the um, sneha can get into the system without the permission of the sneha so the jirna jirna visanga in that particular situation indicates a stage where the sneha and the agni interface is established or not established so in that situation also this ushna sneha ushna jala sevanam can be helpful by two reasons at that point as the time which we have calculated is finished we have to facilitate the rebouncing of the uh, agni as fast as possible that is very important so this ushna jala will help or facilitate that way and secondly the ushna jala sevanam at that particular point will obviously create an udgara 
that is why i mentioned that okay it is need not be an udgara uh, uh, shuddhi it is just an induction of uh, udgara to check whether there is sneha left behind in the amasya so in both ways in uh, utkleshna snehavana as well this test of gulping a mouthful of uh, ushna jala helps the vaidya to understand the situation in the amasya then another question is <coughs> what is the difference between utkledana and utkleshana utkledana is uh, something related with the klid dhadu klid dhadu means to wet so it is something about adding the sneha bhava to the dosha klid whereas utkleshana is a uh, is coming from klish klish dhadu which means to cause some sort of a turbulence by uh, stirring up it is creating a uh, a, a turbid situation by forceful stirring up so that is actually they these words even though they differ a little bit in their uh, true sense we can find them used interchangeably in ayurvedic literature but basically there is a difference then is it mandatory that udgara should be present in a jirna avastha yes generally in a normally working kosta there will be udgara when you take ushna jala otherwise you may not appreciate it even if it happens right so with that i think we can conclude today's session uh thank you very much i think i i do not know whether i complicated a simple concept into very uh, outstretched explanations and everything but i think i do feel that it is very important to understand these ideas properly thank you very much yes uh, thank you prasad sir uh, very much for today's session uh, and i think with this we will conclude today and meet in our, in our next session sir thank you sir yes 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 shubharatri to all shubharatri to all sir thank you go amit yeah yeah no